Tiferet Israel Synagogue, most often spelled Tiferet Israel, was one of the most outstanding synagogues in the old city of Jerusalem in the 19th and 20th centuries. It was destroyed by the Arab Legion during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War and left as ruins by the Israeli government after the recapture of the old city, in six-day war, named after Rabbi Yisrael of Ruzhin, founder of the Ruzhin Hasidic dynasty. It was also known as the Nisan Bekshul, after its founder, Rabbi Nisan Bek. In 2012 the Jerusalem municipality announced its approval for plans to rebuild the synagogue. The cornerstone was laid on May 29, 2014. Origins Although Hasidim had arrived in Jerusalem by 1747, it was only in 1839 that Rabbi Nisan Bek began plans for a Hasidic synagogue. Until then they had prayed in small, private locations like Rabbi Israel Bek's house. In 1843 Rabbi Beck traveled from Jerusalem to visit the Rujina Rebbe in Sedagura. The Rujina Rebbe, who was very involved in assisting the Yeshav, gave Rabbi Beck the task to thwart the Tsar's attempt. Beck managed to buy the land from its Arab owners for an exorbitant sum mere days before the Tsar ordered the Russian council in Jerusalem to make the purchase for him. The Tsar was forced to buy a different plot of land for a church which is known today as the Russian compound. When Rabbi Friedman died in 1851, his son, Rabbi Avraham Yaakov Friedman, the first rabbi of Sedagura, continued the task of raising the necessary funds for the project. Construction Rabbi Beck was the architect and contractor of the project. Initially the Ottoman authorities refused to grant permission to dig the foundations, and when permission was eventually granted, the crew discovered a Muslim sheikh's grave on the site. Eventually the Muslim religious judge agreed for the tomb to be moved outside the city walls. After the foundations had been dug, another setback cropped up. It became apparent that it was necessary to obtain a building permit from the officials in Turkey who were not keen to grant the request. Rabbi Beck, an Austrian national, convinced Franz Joseph I of Austria to intercede, and in 1858 a firman was granted. Over ten years were spent raising funds as the building slowly took shape. In November 1869 Franz Joseph en route to the inauguration of the Suez Canal made a visit to Jerusalem. Included in his itinerary was a tour of the Jewish institutions of the city. When he toured the old city with Rabbi Beck and others, he asked why the synagogue was standing without her roof. Rabbi Beck quipped, Why? The synagogue took off its hat in honor of your majesty. The Kaiser smiled and replied, I hope the roof will be built soon, and left the Austrian council with 1,000 francs for the dome's construction. From then on, the dome was referred to by locals as Franz Joseph's Cap. The three-story synagogue was inaugurated on 19 August 1872, 29 years after the land had been purchased. For the next 75 years, it served as the center for the Hasidic community in the city. It was considered one of the most beautiful synagogues of Jerusalem, with a commanding view of the Temple Mount, ornate decorations, and beautiful silver objects donated by Hasidim. Destruction during the Israel War of Independence, the Tiferet Israel Synagogue was used as a post by the Haganah in the defense of the Old City. During the Jordanian Legion's campaign to capture the Old City, it blew up the synagogue an hour after midnight on the night of May 2021, 20, 1948. Modern-day Ruin and Reconstruction Plans Following the Six-Day War, the decision was made to leave the ruins of the synagogue as they were, only its western wall remains. In 2010, at the dedication of the reconstructed Herva Synagogue, also destroyed in 1948, plans were announced by the same donors who sponsored the Herva rebuilding, to rebuild the Tiferet Israel Synagogue as well. In November 2012, the Jerusalem municipality approved a plan to rebuild the synagogue. Funding would come from an anonymous donor. In 2014, the synagogue is being rebuilt. Tiferet Yisrael Yeshiva and Synagogue
In 1953 Rabbi Mordechai Shlomo Friedman, the boy and a rubber of New York, laid foundations for a new Rujina Torah Center in the new city of Jerusalem to replace the destroyed Rujina Synagogue. In 1957 the Rujina Yeshiva, called Mess of Tertiferes Yisrael, was inaugurated with the support of all of the rabbis of the Rujina dynasty. A large synagogue was built adjacent to it, also bearing the name Tiferesia's role. The current boy and a rebbe, Rabbi Nefchum Dov Breya, leads his Hasidut from here. The design of the synagogue, located on the western end of Malkai Yisrael Street close to the central bus station, includes a large white dome, reminiscent of the dome Tiferet Yisrael synagogue that was destroyed in the old city.